Hello my dear friends, you're on the Military Summary channel. In this video we're going to discuss the current situation in Gaza and Israel. Today we have a lot of very interesting updates, so let's start. As you can see I have also added some icons on this territory, the events that took place during the day and yesterday in the evening. Also we currently we have more icons, additional icons with the flag of United States of America, which also means something. And uh, so that's why let's start with the icons of the with the flag of United States. States of America. According to information we have, the United States authorities took a decision to send the air carrier Gerald Air Ford to the shore of Israel and also support ships. And currently, this is one of the most powerful um, like air carrier that the United States of America has, and this is another um, step to escalate the entire situation in this region. Obviously, uh, this step has a lot of purposes. Uh, the most important one is to support the Israelis, is to uh, increase the manpower and firepower of the Israeli forces and so on. And uh, today, uh, let's say in the evening of the local time, we start receiving the videos of riot ships uh, to closer to the shore of Israel. So uh, I believe and I expect that today or maybe tomorrow the United States of America will involve in this operation, also will try to become a part of this special operation, of this counter-terrorist operation, for many reasons. And first of all, that Israel is the closest ally of the United States of America. And the second one, the United States of America also needs to be more precise, Joe Biden needs some victory before his uh, like president uh, election company furthermore we got updates that the uh, united states of america started redeploying and supporting israeli forces with from the bases from jordan with munition rounds uh, according to information we have and as we know during the first days of uh, uh, the palestinian gaza attack uh, they managed to capture the palestinians managed to capture significant number of bases they managed to destroy a significant number of ammo uh, ammo depots and so a lot of equipments and they managed to capture a lot and currently there is a, some kind of a lack in israeli army with ammo rounds and don't forget that significant number of munition rounds the israelis sent to ukraine so basically there, there is some there are some problems with this and this is like the first step to normalize and stabilize situation furthermore according to information we have the israeli um, managed um, took a decision to mobilize up to 300,000 soldiers and the sources are saying that currently there are a lot of problems with munition with guns with equipment and so on so currently the, the israelis managed to mobilize but they don't have enough of resources to support this a weapon and just to give them something like dress shoes and so on so there is a very big problem that needed to be so resolved very soon because without like fully loaded army army the israelis are not able to start the ground operation in gaza region so this is the situation furthermore we got some another reason why the united states of america to, took a decision to to redeploy their fleet air carriers is something like intensifying of actions in another uh, round of escalation on the northern part of Israel with on the border with Lebanon, which uh, this territory is, con is under control of uh, the local group Hezbollah. And uh, today uh, there was there were updates that uh, the Hezbollah source, the Hezbollah forces, or the uh, that uh, the some forces from the territory under control of Hezbollah launched some uh, number of missiles against the territory of Israel. Most of them reached the target. Some of them were destroyed, but anyway this is like a very very strong bell and very strong signal to the israelis that they need to fix the situation on the northern part of israel we got a lot of videos and geolocated videos and updates how uh, the israelis tried to redeploy a significant number of armored vehicles tanks to the northern part trying to reduce the pressure and trying to be uh, like to stay on the safe side and not to allow anybody to attack the israel from the north furthermore we got another video with significant number of artillery systems that also these uh, videos and these pictures were made on the northern part of israel and currently of course, when talking about special military operation in Ukraine, all these uh, artillery systems would be already destroyed, but this is a different type of conflict. Uh, we see that uh, the Hezbollah forces and uh, Hamas forces, maybe they managed to improve themselves by getting new technologies, but they still don't have enough of military experience to attack and to destroy the concentration of enemy's forces, something like this. Uh, furthermore, we got some videos, first videos and pictures, how the Israeli forces started 
bombing and attack in the southern region of Lebanon and uh, as a result of those strikes uh, some positions and checkpoints were destroyed furthermore the uh, um, the uh, is Israeli army officially reported that they started using the helicopters on the territory of Lebanon and also we got another video how the uh, Israeli forces uh, discovered the positions of probably Hezbollah and as a result of or, or FPV drone or artillery strike or something like this as uh, as a result of grenade launcher strike they destroyed that uh, probably radar or communication equipment or something like this so this collation on this area we also see something like this uh, and of course when talking about iranian forces we still haven't received nothing from their side so probably uh, this is going to be maybe the final step of escalation in this area but yet the iranian uh, just uh, uh, made a lot of very loud like like messages sent very loud messages regarding support of Gaza and so on but no changes and no involvement, no involvement on the ground now we are moving to the central part of Israel and today during the previous night we got a lot of updates from the area between Ramallah and Jerusalem the sources published the videos of night riots and strikes and so on. There were clashes between the police officers of Israel, Israeli police forces and the local people flip flap forces we can call them like this because uh, on this territory there were no like um like attacks uh, from the side of uh, the uh, forces that uh, controlled by gaza uh, ha uh, hamas or hezbollah but there were some updates regarding some clashes and gunfights in the vicinity of ramallah to be more precise uh, the clashes took place in ramallah and uh, between jerusalem and uh, in the city uh, in the Tachin checkpoint Kalandia there were videos how the people with guns were attacking the uh, the forces of Hamas and so on but the current the situation is stabilized uh, the according to information we have currently there is like of course everybody in every country there is the messengers like telegram viber and many many others uh, whatsapp and so on and currently the locals start receiving messages with coordinates of local bases with munition and rounds and with the orders to capture these territories during the next night so the next night obviously is going to be also very difficult when talking about the main region of clashes gaza area and the area around gaza there are very heavy clashes very fierce battles uh, counter-offensive operations from the israeli sources very difficult to understand what exactly is going on there but uh, the israelis have already reported that they managed to at counter attack the uh, Hamas forces all over the combat line around the Gaza area and as a result of those counter attacks they managed to force the um, Hamas forces to step back and to retreat towards the uh, the main Gaza territory uh, of course it's very difficult to understand whether it's true or not because uh, for example Hamas forces from their side published a lot of videos lots of like geolocations with uh, uh, with uh, Gaza flags Palestinian flags uh, along not just on the territory of Gaza but also the territory uh, that uh, Israeli territory and so on uh, so we'll see but anyway uh, the Israelis are pushing and try to force Hezbollah and Hamas Hasma, Hamas to be precise to step back and to withdraw their positions on the mainland on the Israeli mainland and to force them to enter Gaza when talking about Gaza this sector of course there are very um, we got a lot of updates from this territory uh, for example we got uh, some videos how the uh, the Palestinians managed to damage not to shut down but at least to damage four helicopters of Israeli forces using the old Soviet like uh, anti helicopters missiles weapon that were probably modernized by upgraded by the local uh, by um, by the Palestinians furthermore we got uh, some videos of missile launches that took place during the previous night on the territory of Ashkelon not very long distance but anyway uh, the city like Ashkelon and the city like in the vicinity of this area was on the very heavy missile fire and the thing is that currently the iron shield is no longer able to defend Israeli against the missile strikes we understand that Israeli has lack of missiles probably 
they had some operational reserves that were and but they didn't, didn't expect that uh, um, the gaza forces have such a significant number of missiles and that they can overstretch the israeli air defense and basically to suppress them and, uh, every single day uh, the palestinians send more and more missiles and we see that they're getting um, every single day every single hour they're getting more and more results as a result of those strikes and probably this is also the reason why the israeli authorities military authorities ask some uh, help and uh, some like um, support and military aid from the western countries and the most important they expect to receive the missiles for air defense systems uh, when talking about the global situation in gaza of course currently the very bad updates and very bad pictures are coming from this area uh, the Israeli forces continue bombing and reducing Gaza till ruins. For these purposes, they are using F-16s, F-35, F-15s. Now we know that the United States of America sent their air carrier. Probably they will also be become a part of these operations. Some sources are saying, I expect that Gaza will be reduced till ruins and will be turned the same as um, and the destiny of this area will be the same as the destiny of Raqqa and so on. The city was erased from the Google Earth map. And there was also updates uh, every single hour, every single minute. The Israeli Air Forces uh, continue bombing this territory. And of course, uh, it's very difficult to say that these are accurate strikes. Obviously, uh, there are a lot of casualties among civilians and the, local, and the official authorities have already reported that as a result of those clashes and their bombings, the Israelis lost already 80, 800 soldiers of civilians and militants and around 3,000 people were wounded. Gaza lost around 600 people. Uh, civilians dead and around 2.5 thousand wounded so significant losses and obviously the losses are going to be more because we still haven't received uh, almost nothing there is no evacuation process there is no process to remove ruins and there are a lot of people under the ruins and so on for example in this video we see the results of one of those strikes as a result of a strike the ho local hospital was destroyed we got also videos uh, this morning the israeli forces started bombing this area with all types of weapons they have and uh, know that uh, it's very of course difficult pictures uh, the israelis um, they're using some kind of protocol at least they used to use something like um, let's say stones on the roof this is the protocol that Israeli forces used to use when they were bombing and attacking Gaza what does it mean so there are civilians in the building and when they hear the stones on the roof that means that in some minutes and some maybe in seconds the Israeli air forces will start will start bombing this area with this building with real weapon and this protocol allowed a lot of people to evacuate and to save their lives and currently during this phase of counter-terrorist operation the israeli forces stopped using this protocol and there is no stone on the roof and if israel attack they attack this area immediately with real weapon with real bombs with real missiles and we see that also that the quality of these buildings are very poor because for example if you follow the special military operation in ukraine uh, sometimes you need significant number of uh, FAP 500 and FAP 1500 to destroy one building and uh, it was like very qualified very nice quality buildings that was built during Soviet period of time and we see this picture just one strike and almost the entire block is reducing to ruins so this, this also like makes the situation even worse um, also the, the Israeli sources are saying that making accurate strikes uh, they try to attack just the territory and the buildings that were involved or are involved in the pro in them let's say Hamas system or something like this but if we take a look at this video I'm not sure that this is accurate strike we see that there are a lot of strikes against the residential area uh, they are not accurate obviously they're just attacking to show that they can attack and they will continue attack furthermore don't forget that the Minister of Defense of Israel ordered to block the entire area to stop supporting this area with water food and fuel and basically the Israeli authorities has already called people in Gaza and animals so I'm not sure that they're going to they're going to be very nice and kind attitude to anybody on these territories 
so we'll see what is going to be next but as i understand the violence is going to be because one more time the israeli authorities have recruited uh, around 300,000 soldiers if you want to hear my opinion as i understand you need maybe the local forces that israel has 130,000 soldiers is enough to to stabilize the situation in the south it's obviously it's enough because the minister of defense of israel reported that um uh, when the separation started in the 7th of October, just 1,000 uh, 1, soldiers of Gaza, of Palestine, of uh, Hamas crossed the border and started doing these all these things on the territory of Israel. So it's not it's nothing in comparison with Israeli army. But for some reason they took a decision to mobilize 300,000 soldiers. So that means that they're not planning just to stabilize the situation. They're also planning to storm Gaza. And this is going to be probably... A uh, very bad thing. We're going to see a lot of bad scenarios, a lot of bloody scenarios during the storm process because I understand the Israeli are planning to uh, finish the story of Hamas and probably also to finish the story of Gaza. And that's it for today. Military Summary Channel reminds to condemn any violence in Ukraine. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel. Put your like, join my Patreon, and have a good day. Bye bye. Military Summary Channel reminds you to condemn any violence in the world. Thank you for your watching. Subscribe to my channel. Put your likes to my Patreon. And have a good day. Bye-bye.